Hey, Professor. Uh, so for my Go See It project, I am actually doing Apple. Um, it's obviously a very well-known company across the world at this point. Um, they s design, develop, and sell electronics and products like the iPhone, which I am recording off of, um, other products like the Apple Watch, uh, which I use, uh, the iPad as well. Um, you know, I've, I've got quite a few of their products. Um, used to have their MacBook Pro as well. So, you know, in terms of their products and their design, they always try to come up with something new and, you know, something that's trendy and really appeals to their customers. Um, obviously, I'm not able to go to their store right now just because of uh, them being closed at, at this time. Um, but I have visited their, uh, you know, various uh, stores and sites in the past. Um, and in terms of their internal controls, you will notice that they actually have quite a few different ones. Um, one, for example, they have cameras just placed around the store in various areas um, just to, you know, keep an eye out on the customers and, you know, what, what they're doing. Um, they also have quite a few uh, employees just placed around the store, you know, and it's not just, you know, two or three. There's quite a few um, and it doesn't really stop there uh, in terms of their products that are uh, strategically placed ar around the store. Um, there's usually like a, a white wire or security, uh, you know, clip or something that's uh, plugged into their products. Uh, it charges it and also, you know, just uh, allows for an alarming system if, if you mess with it. Um, when you go to the store, you'll notice that they're connected to the wire. Um, it, it's kind of like a docking station, but if you try to tamper with the wire, if you're actually able to remove the wire, uh, usually I've noticed uh, once actually a, a someone was able to accidentally remove the wire and an alarm started sounding off, kind of just alerting all the employees and even the customers that, you know, something unusual was happening or, you know, there was some sort of a tampering or, or something that they needed to attend to in order to make that turn off. Um, another internal control uh, that they have in place, uh, I believe, is when a customer uh, agrees to wanting to buy a product. Uh, it's usually not just placed are in front of them. Uh, normally, uh, the employee will have to go to the back uh, to where their inventory is placed and they'll actually uh, bring a brand new product out to the front and sell you that one instead of the one that's already on display. Um, because their technology is constantly, uh, you know, changing um, and, you know, even <clears throat> technology just in general is, is changing, they have to try to keep up with the new demands of the market. Um, I believe they use the uh, first in, first out uh, method of the perpetual system. Um, this allows the company to sell their older products first, uh, just so they can keep up keep up with the uh, market's demands and uh, you know the the customers' uh, desires. Um, they do uh, allow so this really allows the company not to have to like I said sit on older products. Um, so the first in first out really just allows the company to get rid of their older products and still continue to uh, you know make money off of uh, the newer products that are coming in. Uh, I've learned a lot from this group uh, from this company um, and again I am a big Apple user and I don't think that's really going to be changing anytime soon. Uh, they do a pretty good job of keeping their customers loyal and you know just really appealing to their needs and you know what the customer really wants. Uh, thank you for listening. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye.